I got another useful print for you. It's not this. This is a box that holds a bunch of batteries, but there's no organization. I have several dead batteries in there, I guarantee you, because I never know which ones were newer, which ones were older. So for the double A's and triple A's that I grab all the time, I want to make these. This is a holder that you mount to the wall. You put the batteries in. So the oldest one is at the bottom. You take it out. You use it. That way, you never have dead batteries stuck in here like I do in this box. It's an easy print. I'll explain it all on today's Film at Friday. This video is sponsored by PCBWay. So this is a box called the Battery Daddy, and it's really nice for storing batteries. My wife bought it. She loves it. So do I, really, but there's no organization to how these batteries are put in here. There's like no date codes, no numbers, no order. So they give you a battery tester so you can test the batteries, which I use all the time because I never know which batteries were new, which ones were old. Like these are dollar store batteries. They're not going to last as long as an uh, Energizer Max. So are these newer? Are these older? I never know because she'll pick up batteries at the store, put them in here. Now, some of these are upside down. I don't know why. Is that because that one was dead or is just the way it was inserted? So there's many times I'm pulling out AAA or AA, which I don't have any AA here because they're all on the back. They're right here behind this sticker. A bunch of, here, I'll pop it open. They got a bunch of double a's back here now these were all put in probably about the same time so they're about the same age but i've had some in here from the dollar store and everything else i never knew which one was new which one was old so what i want to do is take the double a AA and triple a which i use all the time because i'm constantly putting in lights i'm putting in remotes those are the two battery sizes we use in the house all the time and i want to be able to just grab it not have to take this box out not have to measure just take it out of a slot and use it and that's where these 3D prints come in. I found these on printables.com. There's both a AA and AAA version. Now, there's all kinds of these battery holders, but I thought these were really cool because they print without any supports. And it's got a slot here for the screw head, and this goes over it like this. And there's actually a tab to line it up. So these two prints come together and held together with the screws that mount it to the wall. So it's a very efficient design. And it only take about an hour to print a set of these while well, on the Prusa Core 1 that I used. And so these came out really nice, but you can print these on any printer. They're really, they're not that big. They'd even fit on a, a mini, if I think, if you angle it a little bit. So any printer can print these things, and they're incredibly handy. Now, this isn't my first attempt at this. I made these boxes in a previous video, and it was kind of neat how I could just put a small amount of batteries and even print more boxes. And then put it in here, and then I just mount them upside down. I just put a marker on the bottom rather than a 3D print. But the problem I had with this method is I could organize the batteries by date. And on a AAA, I have more batteries, so more organized, kind of. What I found with this method is the boxes get stacked. They'll be put on a shelf. And if you have like a AAA, this has got a lot more batteries in it. But even if I had them organized the way I wanted, eventually these get stacked, fall off the shelf, and then I got batteries all over the floor. I don't know which one's old, which one's new. Now, if you go on printables.com, there are all kinds of battery holders. You can get cases like this, boxes like this, some with Grinfinity on the bottom so you can organize them in a drawer. There's all kinds of these ramped type versions that I'm talking about. There's some that are a box with ramps in it. In fact, I think I printed one of those on the channel years ago. I don't have it anymore because that one didn't really work the way I wanted. What I'm really liking about this, though, is if this works for me, the next step is to add little spring-loaded tabs here that I can squeeze against the battery and connect it to a little voltage circuit so I can measure the battery before I pull it out. Measure the battery. If it's dead, pull it out, throw it in the trash, check the next one. And that's something I'm going to need some circuitry for, and for that I'll need a circuit board, and for that I'll go to today's sponsor, PCBWay.com. PCBWay.com is where I get my circuit boards. You can get 10 boards for 5 bucks plus shipping. Great deal. And they also offer low-cost assembly service. You can get standard PCBs or even flexible PCBs. they got a lot of different options. And all you do is you upload your Gerber file, and then you got features like what color silk screen or what color solder mask you want to put on it. And then it'll give you an instant quote over here on the right, just like I showed you, $10 or 10 boards for 5 bucks plus shipping, $27 when it's shipped to me. And they also offer other services such as CNC machining, 3D printing, sheet metal fabrication, and injection molding. So you can make your own battery holders without a 3D printer just by sending it to PCBWay.com. 
So check them out today at PCBWay.com. For this video, I'm going to use my Prusa Core 1. I've really grown to like this printer, but you can use any printer you want. You can use an Ender 3 if you still got one of those. But here's what I found. It's the FIFO AAA battery dispenser from user M Kingery on printables.com. And I have this PLA Galaxy Red that I got for Christmas from Prusa. So I wanted to try this out. It's very much a Christmas color. And here's the file brought into Prusa Slicer. This is for the AAA battery. I'm printing at a 0.28 layer height, 15% infill, and it says it will take about 55 minutes to print. Both sides print together, so after you print this, you're ready to install it to the wall. And here's the results. These came out really nice on the Prusa Core 1. And then I went back and I found the AA battery holder by the same user, and I'm going to print those in the Galaxy Green that I also got for Christmas from Prusa. And again, this is pretty much a Christmas color, but I like it and I wanted to try it. So here's the AA version loaded into Prusa Slicer. I used the same settings, 0.28 layer height, 15% infill, and it took just slightly longer at one hour to print these. And it looks good when I scroll up and down. I was a little worried about the screw holders, but there's not much air gap in there. And these came out really nice. The green is really really bright. I like it. And so now I need to install it onto the wall next to my workbench. Here's a close-up. You can see there's a little lip that slides into the other one. So they line up so the hole lines up and then the screws will hold it in place. And I'm going to use a number six drywall screw one inch long. So very, very short and it barely fits through this hole. It's a little bit tight, but that's okay. I'm going to screw through it just a little bit that will hold it in place as I get it set for the screwdriver. So I get it lined up so it's parallel to the pegboard, and I'll just use my power screwdriver to drive this in. Don't have to drive it too tight. And it's holding in place. So now I need to just line it up a little bit so it's parallel to that pegboard, and then I'll shoot the bottom screw, and this thing is installed and solid. So now let's install some AAA batteries. You just slide them in from the top, and once in a while I find they could fly out. It's not perfect, but for the most part they just go right down the rails in place and it holds 17 AAA batteries. The older ones will be on the bottom, the newer ones at the top. Next I installed the AA version right next to it and this thing holds a few less batteries because AA's are bigger. This thing will hold 12 AA batteries. These are for my workshop. I tried it here first, and now I'm going to print on a different color and do it at home so I don't have to use that battery daddy. So there's my solution for not pulling dead batteries out of the battery daddy. This is still going to be probably her favorite thing, but I'm going to put up a couple of these inside the pantry, although I'm going to print them in white so she don't complain about these colors. I know she's not going to like it, but these were in my shop. I like it, and it's a great solution. What do you guys use to store your batteries? Let me know in the comments below. Big shout out to my Patreon supporters. You guys are awesome. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thanks for watching. And here's a few other videos you might like. If you want to help support the channel, Patreon's the best way to do it. And if nothing else, click on that logo and subscribe. I'll see you next time right here at Chuck Hollabuck's Electronic Products and Filament Friday.